Hello everyone, welcome. This is my monthly favourites video. We do this every month. We have a look at what I've been loving, what I'm impressed with, what I recommend to you, what I think you should try. So there's some products here, there's hair products, there is a tool, we, we're talking about plants, we're talking about kittens, there's so much stuff happening. We've got some late 70s, 80 vibes happening today. Um, you know, whatevs. So October's a great month, we had our wedding anniversary. Um, so we got to stay in the city overnight. I got a really nice present from my husband. I'll insert a picture of it right here. Yes, it's another plant. That's okay. Um, my fiddly fig, was it last year when we went away? But my fiddly fig almost died when we went away on Christmas holidays. So and it's never really like recovered. I think it must have... Like there must have been some serious trauma happening at that time. So um, it still like looks okay. I've managed to propagate a piece of it and I'm going to plant that actually this afternoon after I film this. But it never just grew like straight and pretty. Um, I'm not going to get rid of it, but I just decided that um, we could start afresh with a new one. So I've got two in the house at the moment. I will have three soon in the house um, after I plant the little um, propagated piece. I had really good luck with that. Um, so I just popped it in some water. Some little spots appeared and now there are full on roots. So that's really exciting. So one of my favorite things this month is my new fiddle leaf fig. We'll start off with that. We had lots of spring, <laughs> we had lots of spring spring up this month. So uh, you saw, maybe if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the kitten debacle in the backyard. Uh, Mum still hasn't brought that back to our backyard. I don't think she will but she is coming back for two square meals a day. So that's a thing. All of my plants are taking off. There is new growth on everything at the moment, which is fabulous. In terms of beauty favorites this month, um, there's just a few of them, but they are really different for me. So, you know, usually when you see me, I'm quite matte, I'm quite like full coverage. I've decided to go the opposite route. I think that maybe at my age I need to lighten things up a little bit and so I've been playing with um, two different kind of lighter foundations. A few days ago I shared this one. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Um, I like it for lots of reasons. It's got SPF in it. It's very light but I tend to um, use two layers of this on my T-zone and one layer around the rest of my face. I use a brush which this brush is also one of my favorites this month. I'll show you that later. Um, I probably have a shade too light. I'm using Vanilla 02. I think I could go 03, but this is just the one that I purchased um, when I bought it. It's almost finished. It doesn't look like it because of, of the plastic packaging. Anyway, it's a whistle there. But I'll definitely pick this one up again um, when I uh, run out. So that's one favorite this month, so the Bare Minerals. And then another favorite foundation, and I really didn't think I was gonna like this. I'm wearing this one today. I thought it was gonna be far too greasy for me. Um, so this is the Aven, you can't see that. So this is the Aven foundation. Officially, it's the Tinted Compact Cream. Um, it has a little space there for the sponge. Um, I've only used a sponge once. I don't care for that very much. I've been using the brush again. I'll talk to you about the brush later. We have a mirror and then we have the cream um, in the compact. And it's, it is very, very creamy and emollient. Like it's very, very creamy and emollient. But I will powder this down and it lasts really well. I'm really, really enjoying this at the moment. Again, love that there's SPF in this. This one's SPF 50. It doesn't mean that you don't need to wear sunscreen. I still will layer a sunscreen. Um, I am either using the Hydro Boost or I'm using the um, Aven, this one here. Or I'm using this one here. But I wore this out the other day when I went to the zoo and that layered with sunscreen, no sunburn. It was really good. Um, this isn't the longest wearing foundation, but I just feel like considering how dewy and stuff it is, I don't mind that too much. Moving on to the brush that I've been loving. It's this one here from Sigma and I've talked about it a few times. Um, it's It's been in my collection for a while, so um, the name is starting to rub off, but it's a Sigma 3D HD Kabuki. And I wouldn't have thought, like I saw this, when I actually got sent this, I wanna say two years ago. And when I first saw it, um, I was like, why? That's just, that's a gimmicky. But this little section here that's like a little wedge gets into beside your nose so well. So I really, really like this one. Um, easy to wash, like it's maintained its shape all these years. This one is still fairly new, like I've just really been using this the last week. 
um, but it's another one of the Clarins lip oils. You guys know I love those colored ones. And this one here, when it first arrived, I'm like, hmm, what's this gonna look like? It doesn't look black on the lips. It adds just a little bit of rosy color, but it's super shiny. This one here is in collaboration with the Couples, which is a, a French fashion brand. And uh, yeah, I'm really liking it. I've been wearing it almost every single day for this like, just again, like very light, very like minimal makeup. Today I'm wearing, like I said, um, the compact. Sorry, I'm also using this. So I'm using this on top of my foundation. I use it underneath as a primer and then I'm using it on top as a, um, a highlight. It's just adding a really nice sheen. Um, and then on top of that, I'm wearing um, a little bit of this matte cream um, blush from Maybelline. So I'm wearing that and I've used the same brush for everything. And then I'm using another one of my favorite, which is a cream bronzer. And then this on my lips with, I think just one shimmer shadow on my eyes. So things are really minimal. Things are looking kind of fresh and dewy and I kind of feel like it matches the, the season. So speaking about cream blush, um, this is the one I've been wearing. This is, I'm wearing this today as well. It's one of my favorites this month. It's from Nude Sticks. You'll see more about this again in another video probably. Um, so this one's called uh, Maples, eh? I know, Deep Maple, eh? And um, yeah, it's just really pretty. You just use a tiny little bit, blend it in, and it just looks really nice and natural. So it's another one of my favorites. Can you see a theme here? We're going dewy, we're going natural, we're going minimal. If you saw my fashion haul last week, week before, the week before last, um, you would have seen these sunglasses. And I'm obsessed with them. I just think they give such a cool, like, 70s vibe. Um, they're really reflective, but they're also, they, you can see through to your eyes. I know, I just really like them. Do you like them? These are 15 bucks from Mini, so you can see my haul video to get more details, but I just think they're really cool. In that video, I also um, showed you a lot of stuff from Kmart. This little dress, um, I'll put a picture of it up here, is also from Kmart. Um, but yeah, they're coming out with some great fashions. I can't show you this one because I was wearing a t-shirt underneath and it didn't look quite right. It's not, it's not suitable. Anyway, uh, I've got a couple of hair favorites. Again, this is a new one. So I've only been using this one for a week, but I have been so, so impressed by it. So this is from um, Aldi and it's um, their version of Olaplex. So it's like an off-brand Olaplex. And um, I have to say, um, I've used this twice now. And um, the thing I'm really impressed with is actually the step one, which is the repair treatment. When I used it in the shower, I kept it on for the 10 minutes turn the shower off, shave my legs, do all those in shower things. And when I washed it out, my hair felt like, you know, like the Pantene ads, how the hair just looks so like smooth and like silk. And that's exactly what my hair felt like. I found that after I used it in conjunction with the shampoo and the conditioner, my hair just felt, it didn't look all that different, but it just felt different. It felt smoother. But I feel like using a product like this over time, um, because it's so reasonably priced, you can use it all the time, I suppose. Um, the Olaplex um, little uh, bottle is about $50, whereas this one for the three products, the shampoo, the conditioner, and the treatment is $19.95 or $19.99 from Aldi. And so, um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna give this more of a go and let you know if there's any changes. This isn't sponsored, I just picked it up in Aldi the other day. I bought this and a worm farm. Like, the other hair product I've been obsessed with, and I've got it in my hair today because I didn't wash my hair, uh, is the Whey Dry Shampoo Foam. And it's such an interesting product. The first time I tried this, I didn't like it. I was like, this is weird. It leaves my hair wet, all that sort of stuff. But I found that if I use a little bit of it just around the roots um, and then give my hair a quick blow dry, it looks like there's no dry shampoo in there at all doesn't leave a white cast, it doesn't leave stickiness, nothing like that. And while my hair doesn't have that shine of like clean hair, it definitely looks fresh and like it's malleable and it's just got that little bit of grit to it. And um, it holds a curl a lot better for me and it just looks all around and feels better. I actually use this on my hair um, once when it was clean because my hair was not, you know when your hair just doesn't stay up in a ponytail or whatever because it's too clean? And this made all the difference, my hair looked clean and shiny but it added this little bit of grip so I could do like a messy updo messy ponytail and everything stayed put and it looked fabulous so like I said a quick video um not many favorites but the things I'm sharing with you I really really liked let me know what you liked if you filmed a favorites video then put it down below so I can have a look these are the things that these are the things that I've enjoyed this month I have to stop looking at the viewfinder I found that I'm doing it all the time now but these are the things that I have liked this month these are the things that like have impressed me these are the things that I think you should check out thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time bye